Alright, so uh, welcome. I wanted to do a little uh, video about the uh, new version, if I can say it like that, of a website that I did uh, last year to show you how to do the skipping navigation. So, for example, here we had the site, the, the Katian site. So, that video is already on my YouTube channel. And as you can see, when we scroll, the uh, background here stays at the same place, and at some point, the uh, navigation become sticky so when we load back up the navigation stays at the same place and I was asked whether it was working or not with the new version of Postyler which is Revelation because that one was built with Evo and I did find some little uh, things that were different and uh, it was not working anymore as it was supposed to so let me just show you what I've done. So now I have updated everything, latest version of WordPress, latest version of uh, ProStyler. Now I have ProStyler 4.51 when I'm doing this video. Uh, so I updated everything. And I did uh, remove all my CSS. Well, not remove exactly, but comment it out. Just to make sure that everything was working from the start. So everything is all right. Of course, I have a big space here because of my spacer. If you, you don't know what I'm talking about, of course, you need to see my previous video first. But let me now show you what I need to change. Of course, first of all, my row here. When I update for any reason, it overrided my ID. So this one, the overall row was overlaid. But uh, there's something new in for well since. Uh, version 4.13 anyway with ProStyler uh, Revelation let's say it like that uh, there's an overlay now so we won't necessarily need to do that thing again but anyway let me go to my first row here my first internal row and uh, just make sure that I still have the ID hero here so if that's not the case put back hero there and starting from there I'm going to go in my custom CSS and I have commented out for portions of it. So, well, for my float here, shouldn't change anything. So, my float should still work fine. And remember, these are just for the two icons on the left, on the right, sorry. The problem here is my with my hero. So, I'm going to put this section here into comment. And I'm going to uncomment that hero position fix here. And when I save that, save my page, and I go back to refresh my page, now there's a bug that wasn't there previously. Looks like that as soon as I put something uh, to a fixed position, now it doesn't take the entire width anymore. So, uh, we will need to fix that. First of all, I've seen that uh, I'm not taking the entire width anymore. So, probably in the upgrade, something was changed there as well. So, I'm going to edit my overall row here. And it is set to box for any reason. So, I'm going to put that back to full width. And I can see that my video is not there anymore as well. So, I'm going to change my direct video. And I'm going to select my video to put back my video in the background. All right, so let me save that. Save my page. And refresh. <coughs> Sorry. And now, as you can see, it's even worse. It just take the left section here because now I'm taking the entire width. But that section here in the middle just take the space of the content, not the entire width anymore and this is really due to my position fix so if I come back here and let's say uh, well let me try to find that it's going to be faster hero here some CSS here so this is my hero uh, ID here so if I remove that position fix you can see that everything is working as expected as soon as I put the position fix, now I have a problem. And remember, by the way, that big space here is because of a spacer that I put. Because as soon as we say 
position fix then we don't see the content anymore without the spacing but now it moves everything to the left instead of centered and this is one of the problems that we are facing well this is the only problem that we are facing with revelation so uh, we have if I go back here to my custom CSS the only thing that I need to change and I don't know it's because of code in Revelation or what but if I add a width of 100% that should have been there by default but maybe it was removed in this new version I don't know if I do that and save now it should solve my issue so now if I refresh as you can see now it's back to being centered and now it is behaving as expected and as you can see now even in rev it looks like that the menu is always ticking not just when I move up so uh, I think it's a new option that we have now uh, let me just see navigation here if something has changed so Advance or oh yeah, there it is. I missed it. So stick to navigation on top when scrolling. And previously it was only when I when we move it up, but it has been changed in this new version. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. Now let's go with the other element that I had in the video. Our overlay. So I needed to change my ID. So if I change that, oops, sorry, and save my page again, and I won't take the time to show you the code because this is a part of the other video. Now you see that my overlay text is on the top of everything, my menu and my picture here. And again, that's something that has changed. I can come here and simply change back my Z index here to zero. And as you will see, whoops, what did I do? Zero here. And now it's under. So this gives me a couple of problems here. So probably the order is not the same in this new version. But that's not a problem because fortunately we don't need that anymore. So let me go back here and I can get rid of that entire background. Let me just check for the color though. Uh, it's not an, on hexadecimal value so I'll try to simply uh, copy that. I don't know if it's going to be able to retrieve it. I'm going to delete that CSS. Don't need that anymore. Because when I go in my background, in my row, my overall row here, and if I edit that, you see that now we have the background, we have the video, and now we have the show overlay over background that was not there in previous versions. So if I use that, and if I choose my color, I don't know if I'm going to be able to paste my RGB here. Yeah, thanks. Seems that it's working. Just need to put it back to 75%, probably. And here we go. Now you can see it works perfectly fine without me having to create CSS manually. So now I just need to change my color, put the opacity that I want, save that, save my page. And if I refresh, now everything is working as expected and even better than it was in the previous version. So as you can see now. So hope this helps. And if you have any question, of course, you can post it in the Facebook group where this uh, video will be posted. And hope everything will be working fine for you. Thank you. Have a good day.